a minister, I didn't think about it as, you know, as something that I would, but I definitely wanted to excel and to get to uh, the top positions in whichever profession I, I, I pursued. In the beginning of 2020, I was appointed to the cabinet uh, alongside uh, Senator Mutai Kagwe. It was also a great surprise and a great honor and, uh, and very humbling to receive that level of confidence from the head of state. But there's been a lot of acknowledgement of the leadership of women. A lot of it, of course, has been in the political field, but we've also seen quite a lot in uh, corporate, corporate fields. So I think our country is becoming much more accustomed to having women in these in the, in, 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 in this positions. And President Kenyatta's record has been outstanding in that regard. His celebration of uh, women leaders and, and his appointment is really a very good, uh, very good signal to other people in the, you know, in the continent and also leaders that will come after him. I think for anybody who I mean, is looking at us, I think my message to them is first of all, believe in yourself. And the second thing is to just work hard and be consistent. And thirdly, is to be authentic. Women are just as capable if given a chance and with these enough examples to see the capability of these women once that chance has been given.